Hi everyone, it's Kyle. I'm going to be showing you one of my personal favorite integrals of all time. It's the integral of secant cubed. And um, obviously at 12.30 a.m. there's uh, just nothing better to do than to just uh, do integrals right now. So uh, let's do it. And before I even start, I just want to mention that this integral, and there's a funny story to it with me, that um, I was given this integral in an integration B my freshman year and I blew it. I just did not know how to do it, even though I saw the answer to it just maybe a night or two before the actual competition. So after that competition, I never forgot how to do it. And hopefully after after the end of this video, uh, neither will you. So let's begin. So first, what you have to do with this integral is that you have to split it up into the integral of secant squared of x times secant of x dx. And now what you do is you employ integration by parts. So IBP, remember IBP says the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du, which means we have to assign a u and a dv. Okay, so uh, I'm going to let secant of x be the u, and I'm going to let secant squared of x be the dv, okay? So u is equal to c, well, why is my satellite not working? Secant of x, du is going to be equal to uh, secant of x, tangent of x. And dv, of course, is going to be equal to secant squared, v is going to be equal to tangent, because tangent is the integral of secant squared. So applying the integration by parts formula, we're going to have, so the right hand side is uv minus the integral of v to u, so u is going to be secant, well why is my stylus not working when I need it to work? There we go. Ah, 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 secant, okay, secant x tangent x, so that's u times v, minus the integral of v, so which is tangent, times du. And notice in our du we have another tangent factor right there, so I'm just going to write a 2 there for tangent squared, and we multiply that by secant of x dx. And now what you have to do is you have to remember that tan squared of x plus 1 is equal to secant squared of x, which means secant squared of x minus 1 is equal to tangent squared. So we're going to replace this tangent squared with a secant squared x minus 1, and that's going to be in parentheses, times secant of x dx, and we're going to have this still subtracted by secant of x tangent of x. Okay, we'll make some space. Let's distribute secant of x to both of these terms and we're going to have, so the integral of secant cubed, aha, uh -huh. so we have that factor back, we have secant cubed back, minus secant of x dx, still all this is subtracted by secant x tan x. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split up this difference of secant cubed and secant. They're going to be their own separate, uh, what you call it, integrals, which is totally allowed. You can totally do that. And remember, there's a minus sign right there and a minus sign right there. So that means the secant is going to have a plus on the outside of its integral. Okay, and remember there's still a secant x, tangent x there. But let's remember something. Let's remember that this whole expression that we have right now is all equal to, originally, the integral of secant cubed of x dx, right? And notice that we have another secant cubed of x on the other side, on the right-hand side of this, I guess, imaginary equal sign we have there. So remember, secant cubed of x is on the left-hand side of that equal sign. So let's just rewrite all of that, just so 
we have that in mind. We have the, you know what, how about this? Let's define uh, secant cubed of x dx, there are the integral of it as a variable. Let's call this i. I'm just doing that because it saves space and we can just treat it as a variable, right? So the integral of secant cubed of x is i. So we have i equals secant x tangent x minus i plus the integral of secant x. So the integral of secant x probably deserves its own video, but if you remember it off the top of your head, it is the natural log of secant x plus tangent x. And that's probably best to be shown in another video. Okay, but now we have two i's on of this equation on both sides of this equation. We have one i here, one i there. Let's just add this negative i uh, over to the other side, or should I say let's add a positive i. So we have 2i is equal to secant x tangent x plus the natural log of secant x plus tangent x. And if we want to get rid of this factor of 2, we just divide by 2 on both sides. And let's not forget that i we defined as the integral of secant cubed of x dx. So what do you know? We found the answer of secant cubed of x dx uh, right here. So this is the answer to it, and don't forget there's a plus c. But yeah, this is the answer to it. Secant x tan x plus the natural log of secant x plus tangent x all over 2. And I will never ever forget this answer because I blew it on that integration b. And hopefully now you will also never blow this uh, question if you're ever given it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of, hopefully it wasn't that confusing. I had to make a, you know, a couple of uh, skipping some steps and relabeling some expressions as I and whatnot, but hopefully you got it in the end. So hope you enjoyed watching and I'll catch you next time.